Hello, my name is Daniel and today we're going to talk about Christmas cactus care. The botanical name for the Christmas cactus is Schlumberga times Buclei. It is a hybrid between Schlumberga truncata and Schlumberga rosseliana. So the uh, Christmas cactus is a cactus with flat stems that is uh, blooming in winter time. But that doesn't mean that this cactus is frost uh, tolerant. But much of that further on. Now we're gonna have a look at the complete Christmas cactus care so you are covered. If you are like me in the past you've bought this Christmas cactus just around now or uh, in the last few years and I guess it didn't survive uh, much longer than uh, the winter time until Christmas and afterwards you probably have uh, discarded it. But with this care guide I'm going to show you how you can really grow this perennial over multiple years and also have a continued blooming on this beautiful cactus. It's important to know that the uh, Christmas cactus originates from uh, Brazil. So it loves wet and humid climate and this is unlike a lot of other cacti that grow in the desert. You can find it in places such as Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. So we already know that this plant needs humid conditions as well as sufficient water to uh, bloom and grow well. So a good soil mix for a Christmas cactus is a regular cactus mix with some sand, perlite, pumice and some potting soil. How do you water your Christmas cactus? This topic is really important because you shouldn't water your cactus too much. I remember my first cactus, I really loved it so much that I think I watered it every other day and of course within a couple of, I think two or three weeks it died. But I want to make sure that this doesn't happen to you. So, you water a Christmas cactus every two to three weeks. You need to make sure that the uh, soil is uh, completely dry when you water again. Stick your index finger one to two inches into the soil and if it's uh, still wet, you shouldn't water at all. Only water once it is dry. Lighting. In terms of lighting, this uh, cactus prefers bright indirect light. It doesn't love too much direct light, although it is a cactus, so make sure it doesn't get more than six, four to six hours max of direct light. So an eastern facing window is perfect for this cactus. Because an eastern facing window will provide bright direct light in the morning when it's not strong, about four to six hours, and then the rest of the day the cactus will get bright indirect light, which it loves the most. If there's a lot of bright direct light uh, that gets on the leaves, uh, it can lead to leaf scorching and also leaf uh, burning. And especially if the uh, cactus is not hydrated, it will uh, just burn in time. In terms of temperature, the ideal is between 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 16 to 21 degrees Celsius. And as I already mentioned, in terms of humidity, this cactus loves humidity, so uh, humidity between 50 to 60% is ideal. It can also be a little bit higher, but don't go over 80%. And if it's lower than 50% in the 40s, I think it's almost uh, too low, because this uh, cactus takes in a lot of hydration through the air. Fertilization, very important topic. You shouldn't fertilize your Christmas cactus when it is in bloom. So if you buy it around October, November, it will already have buds and is about to bloom. You need to make sure that you're not fertilizing it uh, when it's about to bloom or blooming because that way you can lose the uh, blossoms. You need to fertilize it in spring and summer when the uh, leaf growth is happening. So between April to October is best to fertilize about every two to three weeks. You can use a, a regular houseplant uh, fertilizer with a balanced NPK ratio. As an example, you can use 20-20-20, but any uh, regular houseplant fertilizer will do. When you use a fertilizer, I recommend that you uh, are using a, a liquid fertilizer uh, because I mentioned every two to three weeks that applies for the, uh, for a li that applies for a liquid fertilizer, and then you just dilute it to half strength. So you can make sure that it's not too strong because if uh, you fertilize it too heavily, it could burn the roots and then it would be downhill from there. And then you should stop uh, fertilizing around September because then the uh, buds are starting to grow and it gets ready for blooming. The main issue with uh, fertilizing too much or also when the uh, buds are starting to uh, form is that uh, the plant is not growing that much anymore and the salts from the fertilizer are starting to build up and uh, will stay in the soil. And then it can't take in uh, nutrients and also uh, water that much anymore and it might die. That's why it's really important to not uh, fertilize too heavily or not at all if it's, your cactus is not growing. And it can also lead to flower drop in the end. 
The Christmas cactus also needs a lot of uh, magnesium, so it's uh, really important to add some Epsom salts every other watering. This can really help it to grow vigorously. So this is a, a secret tip I just wanted to share with you, Epsom salts. So propagation. Great thing about this uh, cactus is that it's really easy to propagate. It has a lot of uh, different leaves and sections. So what you need to do is you just take a stem cutting. You can either take it by hand or you can snip it off and then you uh, put it into water or directly into soil. Within two to three weeks, little roots will start to grow. And once they are a couple of inches long, you can either transfer it into soil or if you have it already into soil, you just continue with the watering. But go easy at first because your plant won't have a lot of roots. From my personal experience, propagation in water is best for uh, this species. So you just um, take a couple of sections off, you put them into water, you make sure that you exchange the water regularly and roots are starting to grow. And once you have a couple of inches, uh, you can transfer into a cactus mix. Just uh, water lightly in the beginning to make sure that your cactus doesn't get root rot and die. Growth. So the Christmas cactus can grow up to 10 inches in height and 24 inches in width. So um, it doesn't grow really high, but it grows really wide if you care uh, for it well. 10 inches is about 25 centimeters and 24 inches is around 61 centimeters in width. The Christmas cactus has hanging branches, so they will arch and uh, grow really uh, in width. Yeah, potting isn't a really big uh, topic for the Christmas cactus because A, it really likes to uh, be uh, root bound, so um, the roots don't need to spread uh, too much. And B, uh, it doesn't grow so vigorously, so every two um, to three years is fine for uh, repotting. Then when you repot, of course, you replenish it with new soil and you make sure that there are uh, sufficient nutrients. Blooming. So the most important topic for a Christmas cactus or for us is we want to see our Christmas cactus bloom. So what induces uh, the blooming? An important part is the uh, night period. Once your Christmas cactus gets around 12 hours of darkness at night, it uh, starts with the uh, blooming process. So this is a sign for the uh, cactus. It's not summer, it's not spring, it's winter, I should bloom. And um, so really make sure that it gets complete darkness at night. If you have it in a room where it's not that dark, you can just cover it with anything and make sure it's completely dark because once it has around 12 hours of darkness at night, uh, the blooming process is going to start. Also, the higher the temperature is, the more darkness it needs. So if it's around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, you should have around 16 hours of darkness. And if you uh, keep your Christmas cactus between 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 12 hours of darkness is completely fine. So that's 16 to 21 degrees Celsius. There's different variety of Christmas cacti. There's not just the uh, Christmas cactus, there's also a Thanksgiving cactus and a Eastern cactus. They all look really, really similar. The main difference is how their leaves look. The Christmas cactus has teardrop shaped edges. The Thanksgiving cactus has more claw shaped edges. And last but not least, the Eastern uh, cactus has more rounded edges. Christmas cactus uh, toxicity. So the Christmas cactus is non-toxic to um, humans as well as pets, such as cats and dogs. But of course, make sure that it's not ingested. It can still lead to vomiting, diarrhea and nausea. That is because of all the plant fiber that should not be eaten at all. A common issue with the Christmas cactus is root rot. So if you water too much, I mean, if you water it too frequently, more than every two to three weeks, uh, you likely get root rot. If you water it too much, like too heavily, and your soil is not on point, it's not well draining, you might end up with root rot. What can you do when you have root rot? So when you have root rot or you suspect root rot on your Christmas cactus, make sure that you get it out of the pot, take off all the potting medium, check the roots. If they are mushy, take them off, uh, snip them off with the scissors, and then also wash them with lukewarm water. Then disinfect the pot and get new, new potting medium and pot everything in again. So pot your um, Christmas cactus into the new potting soil with the uh, disinfected pot or get a new uh, pot. This way you can save it from root rot because once uh, your plant has root rot, it's really likely to die. It goes uh, very, very quickly and the root rot is also going to spread to other roots. Another issue or problem with the Christmas cactus are uh, pests. So um, it's common to have 
mealy bugs on your Christmas cactus as well as ribs. And ribs, they are a um, vector for a lot of different uh, pathogens and uh, other illnesses. So we really need to make sure that you get these uh, pests off of your Christmas cactus really quickly. What I found out what works uh, best uh, is uh, rubbing alcohol. Get some rubbing alcohol as well as dishwater soap and mix them together like just a few uh, drops with uh, water. Put it in a spraying bottle and then spray your plants every couple of days. You have to repeat the process because as an example the thrips they will lay eggs and within two to three weeks you will have uh, new pests on your plants. So you need to repeat the process over and over again. If you have plant pests that you really can't get rid of, uh, the last option always is uh, to use a insecticide. When your Christmas cactus is in bloom, also do not repot it. Because when you uh, repot it, you can reset the whole process. All the blooms are not going to emerge and the buds might fall off. So do not repot your cactus. 